Hey guys, so today we're having a look at Dying Light 2 Stay Human, the reason the official gameplay trailer. So I've been playing the original Dying Light um, pretty deeply the last few weeks and I've been loving it. I first got the game, put it on. I don't know what happened. I think I got stuck in a, in a certain part, so I put it down and played some other stuff. But then I picked it up again recently and I've gone pretty deep into the campaign and it's amazing. I really hate running around at night time. It's too scary and I can't, I can't defend myself. I don't like it, but the game itself is incredible. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what Dying Light 2 brings to us. What I've seen so far has been amazing. Jumping, yeah, it looks like you got some kind of uh, glider thing on your back so you can jump out of a building and, and glide down to the well, to other buildings and down to the street level. So it looks pretty cool. All right, so without further ado, Dying Light 2, Stay Human, the reason the official gameplay trailer, 3, 2, 1, go. Let's do this. Don't screw up the password again. This time, we'll blow your head off. Sweet. Love you too. You better get it right. And apparently the gameplay, the, the time to finish this game is insane. Like 500 hours or something. Like a lot to do. To 100% it anyway. Pilgrim. Your business. You think your barking will make an impression on me? Why does he look like Sting, man? Mia. Mia? No. Who's Mia? She's my sister. I promise you'll never leave me alone here. Never. I won't leave you. I swear. I don't have to. Not him, no! A long time ago, Waltz heard her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. Cool. Well, that kind of information is expensive. I love the RPG elements of it. Well, maybe I can help you. Welcome to paradise. Look at Paradise. Around. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. Who would have thought the end of the world would be so peaceful? I wish Crane could have seen this. Luan, it's not a sign of weakness to say you were worried. <laughs> Death is how we thank traitors. You didn't say you were working for Aider. I worked for Aider, I worked for myself. Here we're all infected. For you. Whoa. Most people Zombies. Are. Stay human. What? They're changing. Those who are weak just give up. Oh, that looks so good. I stop caring about anything. Give up on life, but you. You still care. Drop him. One move and he dies. Drop him. You're no leader, Kong. On behalf of all these <laughs> whores, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Vinador. And in the name of law, you're sentenced to death for treason. Oh, I know shit. What is like. Talking about someone in particular? She trusted you, and you failed her. I'll be okay. You pay for that. Three against one? I like those odds. Count again. Sometimes <laughs> you have to become a monster to stay human. You gotta become a monster to stay human. Nothing could ever tear us apart anyway. Fuck the plan. We don't know what's up there. Damn. Oh, he's a big fella. boy wants to pretend he's a grown-up a precious little boy oh shit that looks cool man like like visually quite very spectacular so obviously the first game is um, primarily a lot of parkour so i'm assuming that's going to be a big part of this game as well but didn't really showcase a lot of that uh, in that trailer. So having uh, Rosario Dawson play one of the characters is pretty cool too. We've seen some trailers with her in it. This one, we had a scene of her falling off a building. So I don't know if maybe her story is some kind of like a backstory that is told to us as we play the game. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Obviously, it's like a lot of strong story elements to it, a lot of RPG elements to it, which I really appreciate. Not a lot of zombie stuff too much at the moment, but we have had a glimpse at some of them. They're looking pretty big and ferocious. Looks like they're morphing out. So it's going to be a, a lot of fun to see what this game brings us. Are they going to bring a lot of the horror elements? Is it going to be creepy? Like I said, that first game 
when you're playing it in the nighttime, it's terrifying, man. And you've got things chasing you, you're running, you, I, I can't look back, I'm just concentrating on what's in front of me, just running for my life and getting destroyed. It's creepy, so I'm sure that's going to be part, like, it's going to be part of this game as well. I mean, they're obviously going to be expanding on that, on what worked in the first game coming into the second. But like I said, they are saying that this game is pretty long, uh, over, well, they're, they're promoting 500 hours of, of gameplay. So that can be amazing, also a, a, a detriment to somebody like myself who'll play a game for a little while and then get distracted and do other things, play other games. So it can mean that a game's only going to be sitting on like 20% completion for about three years before I dive into it again. I did the same thing with Red Dead Redemption 2. Played it to death, stopped at about 50%, and I, I didn't pick it up for like two years until like a few months back, and I played it again. I'm now, I'm now I'm on about 70%, but I'm, I, I just I want to do other things. There's so many cool games out there. I just don't want to focus on one game all the time. I want to just explore and play what's out there there's new stuff coming out all the time anyway that does look very cool let me know what you think down below don't forget like and subscribe catch you next time thanks for watching